Any person that initiates a fight like that obviously cannot fight. <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm okay. oh, 60. That's only 100, isn't it? Yeah, that's only 100. Make me stronger. I feel the chest initiate a lot more at the top. You kind of have to... Hold. How do you feel the difference of having the band there compared to a conventional deadlift? Off the ground it's very similar. Then probably when I get to about probably around the bar around knee height, that's when the slack really comes in, you got a bit more of the pull. Then at the top there's a lot more effort because just the way the band's working. I feel like I'm getting pulled forward and downwards a lot more, so I've got to lock a lot better than I usually would. Then on the way down, trying to control it as much as I can, so I'm feeling I'm initiating a lot more of those lower back muscles than I usually would, where you kind of just drop, where I'm kind of just holding it on the way down as well. So instead of usually being like, once you're at the top, it's kind of your reps done, you can drop. Like you gotta do a bit of control, but this one you've all five reps up and down. You've gotta put a lot of work into it, so it's good fun. It's not awfully heavy. It is just something new, so I'm feeling really good in my hamstrings. Odd places I feel it, biceps and chest at the top when you're kind of I'm trying to almost be like a soldier to stand still. It's good fun. Two more sets. A few times there, I'm just feeling the band got away from me a little bit, the bar. So, the last few reps worked on keeping it super, super close to the body. Although, I had a little bit more issue with it, I think the bar felt lighter. Adjusting to the kind of the new mechanics of having the, the band on there, because I've never done banded deadlifts. How does it look? Awkward. Yeah. Have you ever done a maximum? The most I've done for a sumo is probably 12 months ago. I think I did threes at maybe 200, but I just don't like sumo. I just find I go really off balance. So that felt a bit better. Wider stands, better wider grip. I find because yeah you don't you don't like track against your yeah. your knees and stuff and you don't drag it up your hips. Still not the same. Yeah. I like being a little ball. <laughs> indicator of who would win a fight is who has the bigger deadlift. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Brad, do you want to go there? Someone's a little salty. <laughs> the bigger deadlift. <laughs> be interesting to see. It will be. You get more than 170, I'll be impressed. How many reps do you want? Why? What's she failing on? What about power thing? Right. Is that his excuse for the
I think it's like with a lot of a lot of my lists. I'm very good at when I'm squatting, deadlifting, benching. I can pull it off the ground, I can get out of the bottom, I can push it off my chest. I find with all of them there's probably, I'd describe it like an equilibrium part where I'm just stuck there. If I can push through it, I've got the rep. If I can't, I'm stuck. Like with my squat, it's like I can push out the bottom really well, but once I get to parallel, that's like my sticking point. If I can push through there, I'm fine. And then with deadlift, if I can get it probably just about just up to my knee, just probably under my knee, where around where your, your patella is, that's probably about my sticking point there. And then bench off the chest if I can start getting more extension, I'm all good. Like I think if you've seen the one ton challenge video, on that bench, I push it off and I'm there for like what felt like a minute just was, pushing, was, didn't move, like nothing happened. If I can just work on getting through the, what I would just call my sticking point, I'm all good. So. Yeah. Which I think on the deficit with the uh, plate, doing deadlifts for the past couple of weeks, I feel like when you've got that earlier pull, I'm, I'm hitting that sticking point as I would describe it earlier. And then I use a lot more pull to get through it. And like I did struggle maybe one of those weeks really badly. I think it was a 210 for threes. I just didn't have anything that week. But then the next week I came back and I was smashing it. And then I hit, we didn't film last week, but I hit 230 on the deficit. Just it was one of those weeks where Evan described it as work up to a heavy rep for set movements, but it's not like a max out. It was pretty much work up to a heavy rep while maintaining really good technique. 190 for a three second pause back squat, 230 on the deficit dead. And then on the bench press, which is the most surprising, I hit 150 for the pause. So I'm stoked about that because my bench is 155. So just going off the assumption that when I'm not doing a pause, I'm just doing a normal rep, that should be 160, 165, I'm hoping. But everything feels really good. Uh, soon I just feel really heavy just because I'm not, I don't do them often enough to really, when I'm doing conventional deadlifts, I feel like I have that in sync, I would describe it as. Where I know how to set up, engage, know when my mu which muscles, which body areas should engage at what times throughout the lift. Where sumos, I'm a little bit more out of tune. Yeah. Where I kind of feel like, oh no, I should probably use that at a different time. But it's good fun. 86.6. Okay. So I'll round off to 87. Because I'm hardcore like that. <laughs> Whew. Warmed up. I think the goal should be unbroken on the bench. What's your strategy for the rest of it? Just send it? Um, it's going to check exactly whether it's just for time or I have a rest in there. Okay, so I have one minute rest after each round. So I'll probably just aim to get through the bench unbroken and then probably not mess around with the sandbag just get it done probably i'll see how my first round is for time and then evaluate whether i go fast or slow maintain the pace and then maybe set a goal time to finish it but we'll see how we go bad boy talk i'ma get it how i'm living i'ma walk the walk outline my lines i rap through thought body bag the verse outlined in chalk in my life seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick, got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble, I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I laugh me baby, bust it open, bring it back, I'm the realest killer in it, I don't even need to act, throwing up the racks, I'm just throwing up the racks, baby stack it to the ceiling, see we ballin' with the sack. 
No one cares till you kill. Life is a bitch and I fuck her like a milk. It's a dirty, dirty world. Gotta keep your face clean. Get pussy, take money, make music, chase dreams. drop off a lot worse than I did. No? Yeah. How's that? Good fun. The bench would have been easy. I got tough last two rounds but it was pretty chill. That was felt okay doing it. And now I've just had the lactic acid done. The heart rate's increased. Yeah. It wasn't too terrible. It was once you get the two cleans done. You might as well just pick it up and walk it out. Yeah. It's like you're in pain, what's the point?